Okay, so here we have January 2014 IAL C12, question number five, sequences question, recurrence relationships and so on. Um, first of all, pretty simple, find the exact values of U2, U3 and U4. They told us that the first term U1 is 3 and to find the next term you do 2 minus 4 over the first term or the term before it. Okay, so this is basically what this means. Okay, this recurrence relationship just simply means that. It means to find the next term you have to take 2, subtract from 2, 4 over the previous term. So if I know the first term and I want to find the second term, well the second term it's going to be 2 minus 4 over the first term. That's what it means. And the third term will be 2 minus 4 over the second term. So the second term is going to be 2 minus 4 over 3, which is 2 minus 1 and a third, which is 2 thirds. Okay, and the third term is going to be 2 minus 4 over the second term, which is 2 minus 4 divided by 2 thirds which is 2 minus 4 times 3 over 2, which is 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. Okay, so we know that the second term is 2 thirds, and the third term is negative 4. Okay, now we have to find the fourth term. So the fourth term is 2 minus 4 over the third term, which is 2 minus 4 over negative 4, which is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So the fourth term is 3. So I think we can notice something here that the next term is going to be, the fifth term is going to be 2 thirds, and the sixth term is going to be negative 4, and so on. So it's going to continue in this particular way. That's why now they say find u61. Well, I think we can use this pattern. So basically, you have the first term is 3, and the second term is 2 thirds and the third term is negative 4, then the fourth term becomes 3 again. And then you get 2 thirds, and you get negative 4, and then you get 3 again. Okay? So you're following that same pattern. 3, 2 thirds, negative 4. 3, 2 thirds, negative 4. 3, 2 thirds, and negative 4. So we got to find what the 61st term is. Okay? U61, the 61st term. So to find that, we got to think about this pattern. So let's just think about this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Okay. So you can see that the third term and the sixth term and the ninth term, all the multiples of three are all minus four. Okay. The sixtieth term will therefore be minus four. Because you see all the multiples of 3, all the terms which are multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, it will continue. We're going to have uh, 3 and 2 thirds and minus 4. That's the 12th term. See, every multiple of 3 is going to be negative 4. So the 60th term, the 60th term is going to be negative 4. Okay? And the term after negative 4 each time is a 3. So that means u61 is going to be 3. That's one way of deducing that just by looking at the pattern of how the numbers repeat. Okay, so the 61st term is going to be a 3. Okay, so we just use the fact that this, this repeats and looked at how they repeat. The multiples of 3 will all be minus 4 and always one more than that is the third, the 3. The number 3 is also always after the mi minus 4 in, in this sequence. Okay, now it says find the sum of the first 99 terms, 1 to 99. So add up all the numbers. You're going to have 3 plus 2 thirds um, minus 4. Okay, plus minus 4, right? 3 plus 2, 2 thirds minus 4. Plus 3 plus 2, plus 2 thirds minus 4. Plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 thirds minus 4. So on, so on. You're going to have until you get to the 99th term. Well, there's going to be basically 33 sets of these, aren't there? Okay, if you've got three of them, you know that there are going to be 33 sets of these sums. 3 plus 2 thirds minus 4 times 33, and that will give you your total sum. Okay, because there's three terms here that keep repeating. You add them together, 
they're going to repeat 33, term, 33 times, you know, over 99 terms altogether. Okay, so if we do 3 plus 2 thirds, okay, and then minus 4, that's going to be minus 2 thirds minus 1, basically, which is minus 1 third, times 33, that gives you negative 11. That gives you negative 11. That's your answer. We could have just done that in our heads, actually. 3 minus 1, mi minus 4 is minus 1, minus 1. Uh, 2 thirds minus 1 is minus the third. Minus the third times 33 is minus 11. Okay, so there we have it. It looks a bit complicated when you look at it at first, but actually, when you, once you see that these numbers are going to repeat again and again, it comes pretty easy for you to be able to deduce the rest of the question. Okay? So there we have question number 5. C12, January 2014, IAL. Thank you for watching.